Hey cousins, welcome to Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. Welcome cousins to this episode of Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. I'm Cornell Wright, the People's Lobbyist. Join me for a quick one as we talk about something that impacts all of us, and that is our climate. So, cousins, here's a situation. A friend of mine who was a physician told me a number of years ago that the only thing we all had in common was what we drink, the air we breathe, and the food we eat. And the air and the, f and the water we drink have impact on how food is produced and what our food is, right? And as a result of that, that has had impact on cancer. Now recognize that I'm sure most of us unfortunately have had either we've had cancer or we know someone in our immediate family or friend circle who does have cancer or had it. It has even spread to our pets. So cousins, when you have something that's pervasive, that says that there's some reason or something that's impacting all of us. To make that analogy and connection, the air and the water are what? Our climate. And I submit to you, cousins, that the air and the water that we're consuming and we're engaging with is starting to be under stress. And that stress is climate change. You follow me on that, cousins? There were times in which people were telling us that, oh, climate change is a myth. It's fake science. I submit to you, and you go and ask those people who are saying that, what is your proof today versus the proof that we have of flooding in Florida's, fires in the West, droughts in the Midwest, floods in other parts of the Midwest, and other kind of crazy opportunities and things that are occurring? I had a chance to go out to Lake Mead out in uh, Las Vegas. It was a great time going to Las Vegas, you know what I'm saying? They're talking about Lake Mead has gone lower than it has in ever identified, starting to impact the water flow, not only through the dam, which provides electricity to Las Vegas, but the water flow to many parts of, of, of Nevada and Western Cal West, Eastern California, right? So why is that? For those deniers of climate change, you can ask them, oh, they're saying, oh, it just happens on occasion every now and then. The earth goes through these modifications. And I say, okay, fine. But what is our role as a society, as a culture, as a world impacting on this climate? The answer is significant. And the question you then ask, should ask them is what do they recommend we do if in fact there is this correction? Because what I'm talking to your cousins is that in chemical reactions, this thing called a delta, it's a triangle, right? Delta means that you are putting something into a reaction, excuse me, that modifies or changes it that doesn't change the reaction. We are that delta. Our consumption and use of coal, our internal combustion engines, all types that we need and use in order to fuel and create our society as we know it, transportation, electricity, all the folks, all the functions that we need, we need those components. We need electricity most of all. To me, that's the most critical of the quote unquote energy resources. Why? Because think about what doesn't work in our lives without electricity. In many instances, that electricity is caused by the burning of coal or other natural gases or other things that have a polluting aspect on our environment which is our planet, which as we've talked about earlier in this show and other episodes, our spaceship, the only one we have. So you look at that cousins and start to say then, if climate is changing because of all the things that we know for real, you talk to the folks who are in the fishing industry and sailors, they'll tell you the oceans are changing. The migration of fishes are changing. Look at our weather forecasts, they're changing. We're having larger hurricanes, larger tornadoes, larger weather events that we can't describe 
and more specifically, we can predict but cannot control. <laughs> Come on, cousin. You know, we've had cousins dying, losing property, losing whole towns as a result of this. Not to mention what fires are doing, which in fact, to the best of our abilities, we cannot control outraging fires at this point in time. Think about the folks out in the West in California. You don't think if they could figure out a way to control those fires, they would do it? We don't have that technology. So therefore, we are in a situation that we are the delta that we need to change. So there have been people who have for a number of years and even decades said, oh, climate change is not important. That's a minority position. A minority position which is causing enough questions on enough people's minds not for it to be raised to the point of concern and interest on all of us to do something proactively about it. It's not a political question being Democrat, Republican, green, blue, or orange. It's a question of our planetary survival. Let's get that right, cousins. Our planetary survival is not a question of what, where you live in the country. The whole planet is under that stress. So for the United States, people say, oh, well, gee, if we do it, what impact does that have on Russia or China or India or whomever who are also major polluters or have impact on the, on, on the environment because of their economies? Well, the point is someone has to be a leader. And so if you believe the United States is a leading organization, leading country, this is one of those leadership positions we need to take. And in fact, there have been a number of alliances created in order to support that moving forward. But let's just say that we haven't been in the forefront as much as I would like for us to be. So when you look at climate change, which has impact, what, on all of us across the board, you have people who are running for political positions now who are not necessarily buying into that. If someone tells you they don't believe or you ask them, when the question is posed to them, do you believe in climate change, climate change and what do you want to do about it? And they tell you, no, I don't believe it, or no, there's nothing we can do, don't vote for those people, <laughs> okay? Because those people are doing what? They're not drinking with us. They're denying the science. And they're trying to say that your environment doesn't matter to you. Well, cousins, we know that's not true. It's not true because everybody is saying, and you can all see it and know for yourselves, that the world is getting hotter and things are getting more impactful. Think about this, cousins, on a personal basis. Think about 10 years ago, 20 years ago, how much you heard advertised in TV about the SPF associated with suntan lotions. All right? The number has gone up almost every year, hasn't it, cousins? And you don't want to let anyone go out without, even for my skin color, your skin color, your kids, definitely older people, they don't want them to go out without putting on suntan lotion of various SPFs in regards to normal lotions. Cousins, the companies who produce those products are not producing those and putting those extra chemicals in there for fun. They're putting them in there because they know that the sun is coming down and beating down hotter on us and with more impact on our skins. And the bad news associated with that, if you get too much sunburn and you talk to anybody who's been doing it a long time, you end up with skin cancer or you start getting pieces of your skin taken off as a result of that, cousins, right? Think about it. So if someone who's running for a political position now and you ask them the question, what do you want to do about climate change? And they say, oh, nothing, that's not critical. You tell them, thank you very much and do not vote for that person because they're not caring about us, cousins. We need to have elected officials who are one thinking, who are connected to reality and who are thinking about the things that are important to us that's going to help to prolong not only the success of our planet, success of our country, and therefore the success of your family and people you care about. You with me, cousins? Climate change is important, it's real, and it's no longer any dispute about fake science. And our elected officials need to recognize that, and need to have a plan to start to address that. 
It's one of those things that should be an automatic exclusion from your vote. Meaning, if they don't care about it, you shouldn't care about them. You take care of yourselves, cousins. The next episode of Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas. I'm Cornell Wright, the people's lobbyist. I care about you. Take care of yourselves. We are the people. We are the people. Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas is intended for the participation of responsible adults of legal drinking age who wish to engage in substantive virtual discussions and social drinking for entertainment purposes only. Brown Liquor and Bad Ideas does not advocate the abuse of alcoholic beverages. Choosing to participate in any of the drinking activities shared in the program should be made with moderation and caution and is the sole responsibility of the user.